Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of Erin's Book Club. I just finished a rather important book. Um, the book itself isn't necessarily more important as, as uh, any of my other books, but this is the 52nd, how do I say it, I guess 52nd book of the year that I have read, which makes it my Goodreads goal completed. Um, and it's completed almost a month early, so I am incredibly stoked because I didn't think that um, my 52 books this year would work. Um, because, well, let's face it, I'm a very slow reader, and when I got this new job, I had less time to read, and then when I got this full-time part of my new job, I got even less time to read, so I really didn't think I'd have time to do this one. But um, I've been trying to rest lately because this job's been knocking me out physically and as I'm resting I've been reading. So the final book uh, review that I have to do for my Goodreads challenge goal is Sea Star, um, The Orphan of... I don't know how to say that island. It's C-H-I-N-C-O-T-E-A-G-U-E Somebody in the comments is going to have to help me pronounce this one because I don't know how to pronounce this one. But it's by Margaret Henry. It's like the third book I've read by Margaret Henry. And again, really enjoyed it. Um, not one of my favorites, but I really did enjoy it. It had a happier tone. And of course, I always like the, the pictures in this book because they're like old school. And I like the... You can't really see them. And I like the... Um, the tone of the book because again it's more of a uh, quieter time, more of a time when there was respect for their fellow human being. Yes it was old-fashioned in that women were you know considered the cooks and men were considered to work out in the field but it was a gentler time and it was a time especially as of late that I enjoy reading about because it reminds me that there are some people out there who who really are good people. Um, and sometimes you need a good reminder of that. Um, what I didn't like so much about the book is that the big sale on the book was that there, it was about an orphan um, that was found by these kids and what they did to save them. However, the first like half of the book was um, about Misty, who was another, I guess, uh, foal that they rescued. Um, and how they had to say goodbye to her because somebody wanted to buy Misty and half that book was getting rid of Misty and we didn't actually meet the orphan until halfway through and so the the tale of the orphan seems to have just begun like we we didn't really get into that at all so that was kind of frustrating um, but let me read the back of it and I'll show you more or tell you more about what I mean by it so Misty is leaving Misty, the beloved horse that Paul and Maureen have loved since she was a tiny filly, they all, Misty, the, uh, since she was a tiny filly, they know Misty is leaving to be the star of a movie, but it's almost too hard to see her go. What will they do without Misty? Then one day the children find a lone colt with a crooked star on his forehead. Beside him lies his mother dead. How Paul and Maureen fight to save the life of the little sea star makes the story you'll never forget. And what it really should be is starts the story you'll never forget because it, it doesn't actually make a story because it just describes how they found him and what they did to try to make him eat. So that part was a little bit frustrating. But all in all, I think this would be a great book to read a chapter to a child once once the evening. Um, I think that would be I think that would be good for the for the family. Um, it brings back great memories, too, of when I was first starting to read and, and that horse crazy girl where I just wanted to get on one and just be with horses and no goals, just be with them, you know what I mean? So I enjoyed that as well. All in all, a really great book and a really great book to, to win my goal for. So thanks so much, guys, for listening to me talk about another book, and I will let you know when I have another book read. Have a good night, everybody.